Well, welcome back to the graduate post offices in the Student Resource Building at the UC Santa Barbara. We're here with Lindsay Kahn, who's leading us through three mini workshops online. They can be watched as often as one wants um, on the dissertation and thesis filing process. Thank you for being here, Lindsay. Thank you, Don. So we're going to talk about some of the more basic university requirements uh, for your degree here. In part one, we talked about formatting and margins for the dissertation and thesis. And in this part, we're going to continue. Um, First, I want to mention that when you turn in your dissertation or thesis, everything needs to be approved before you turn it in to us. We can't allow you to make any changes after you turn in the copy to us. So be sure that you do all the double checking that you need to do before you turn it into our office. I mentioned in the first video that um, you own the copyright for your dissertation. However, that means that you need to request copyright permission for any previously published work, whether it's your own or somebody else's. And that means that any journal articles you've had published that are also included in the dissertation or extensive quotes or images that are included in the dissertation that are owned by somebody else. There's, some, there's a page on our, hand, on our website about fair use that has some more information about this, and the Davidson Library also has a very good page about copyright permissions and when you need to request them. So university requirements for graduate degrees. You need to have been registered at UCSB for at least six quarters to receive a doctoral degree and three quarters for a master's degree. You must have a minimum GPA of 3.0, and you can't have any incompletes or no grades on your transcript. So those are I's, NG's, or NR's. So if you have a faculty uh, advisor that has trouble remembering to enter your grades on time, you might start reminding them a little bit early your final quarter because them not entering your grade is going to delay your degree. And finally, degree candidates must be in a fee relationship with the university by either being registered the quarter that you file or on an approved filing fee leave of absence. If you're not familiar with the filing fee leave of absence, it's for terminal masters or doctoral students only. That means you can't be going on to get another degree at UCSB and take this leave. You can't be employed as a TA or a GSR while you're on a leave, and you can't be receiving financial aid or fellowship support. For the leave, there's a $20 petition fee to apply, and then the filing fee, it's currently $150, but it's, it can vary. So if you're not sure, check with our office. If you take a filing fee leave in the spring quarter, you can file in the spring or the summer and receive your degree just by paying that $150 filing fee. Um, the application deadlines are posted on our calendar on the GradDiv website, as well as all of the filing deadlines. So again, here, filing deadlines. In a general, it's always the last day of finals for a quarter, but be sure to check our calendar for the exact dates. If um, you think you're going to miss a deadline, contact us for your options. These deadlines are non-negotiable, but sometimes there's another couple days where we can help you out and you won't have to pay fees for the following quarter. So be sure to contact us for your options. Before you finish, Log into Gold one more time. Check your grades. Check for those incompletes or no grades or for any incompletes that might have switched to Fs or Us. And take this time to update your permanent mailing address. If you, the diploma will be mailed to your, off, to your permanent mailing address if you don't specify a diploma mailing address. There's a fairly small window to be able to specify that. So be sure that you update your permanent mailing address in case you miss it. And there's also currently the ability to continue your G-SHIP um, health insurance for two quarters following your degree. So check the student health website for more information. If you are going on to a job and you need a degree verification letter, send us an email and let us know your name, your perm, and the address where you want it sent, and the date that you need it by. And we will do our absolute best to get it there on time. And so finally, we're here to help. The filing guide and the dissertation template are available on our website, along with all of the filing deadlines. Drop by our office for a pre-check on the third floor of Cheadle Hall from 9 to noon and 1 to 4, or email or call us anytime with questions. 
Our number is 893-2277, or the email is academics at graddiv.ucsb.edu. Well, thank you so much, Lindsay, for coming by the Graduate Post to offer this great virtual workshop. And we will um, look forward to the next one and the uh, third in the series. Can you remind us what it's about? The third is doctoral requirements only. So for master's students, you're all set. For doctoral students, we have a few more hoops for you to jump through. All right, thank you. This has been done at the Graduate Post, www.gradpost.ucsb.edu.